It all started in sixth grade, where we were gonna do the frog dissection. And I was so excited for this, because ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to dissect a frog. We were split into groups, but if you don't know, I'm an introvert, and I like to do things by myself. I probably could have done this whole thing by myself, but you gotta learn how to um, work together in the future, or else you'll be a sad, lonely man. Okay. Now, we um, were split in a group, and there was this bully in our group. He was mean to us, most people. He said a lot of bad things to people. So he was going to choose the frog. Now, when he chose a frog, he splatted on the tray, but it was, like, bigger than the tray. It was a huge frog. Now, we had to check the mouth, and the tongue looked like it had been melted off. It was just disgusting. We don't know what happened to the tongue. Like, there was people crowded around us, and we really didn't know what happened. So, now it was time to get to the dissecting part. Sadly, it wasn't me who was going to dissect it. It was another girl. Now, when she was um, dissecting it, we couldn't even see the organs because it was covered with eggs. It was really disgusting. There was a girl across the table who had a pale white face, and we were looking at her say, saying, hey, are you going to be okay? And then all of a sudden, she just starts to pass out. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Do we continue with the dissection? Um, do, do we, um, I'm, I was very traumatized because we weren't even done, and class was almost over, and now someone in our group just passed out. Now, the teacher gave her a wheelchair and rolled her to the nurse. We didn't learn anything because now class is over and we failed that quiz. And we had a reason to. Now, I don't think there's a really a moral to the story, but if I can come up with one from the top of my head, hmm, maybe it's so don't be with a nauseous girl if you're dissecting a frog. Totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chases all the way to the end. Oh.